hey, I'm just back from yoga. I'm just, I finished yoga and then we have some things to do in Canterbury. George has gone to find a guitar. Well, try a guitar. And I've just got to wait for him in the car and then we need to go and try and sort something out with our camera. Long story, but yeah, we're just going to go and sort that out. So I... I'm just sat here waiting and then I'm going to go home and shower and then I, I've got an appointment in Margate later for my eyebrows. There's nowhere in Canterbury that seems to do HD brows and I've, I've looked on the internet and stuff and I can't seem to find anywhere which is a shame because I would just much prefer for it to be more local. I'm hungry now after yoga. I'm dressed. I've just gone for this gospel dress that I got from ASOS and my ASOS cowboy boots because it's raining so badly the weather is horrendous. I've been listening to a lot of Taylor Swift. I was never that into her and then I got into like a couple of her songs from one album. I don't even know what it is. I, everyone was talking about this latest album online. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna give it a go. And the first listen, I was like, yeah, it's all right, but there's just a lot of songs and none of them, there's a lot of words in all the songs. So I don't find them that catchy, but I just kept listening to it and I really love it now. I find that like, definitely, I think she, like it takes a while for you to like get into the songs um just personally i think so but yeah i also i watched the documentary about her a couple of years ago and i really liked her from that and i think she's quite empowering and i feel like i really relate to her because she has an eating disorder as well so i find that yeah just relatable <laughs> If, you can, if anyone can actually feel it, they can relate to Taylor Swift because she's probably like one of the biggest artists, right? just made a chai and I thought I would try and show you my outfit. This room's probably got the most space in it so excuse the building site but I went to the Selfridges site they have a car boot sale with women for women and they held it last year and then they held it this year and I got this dress from the Manzungu sisters I think that's how you say it and I think they're meant to be like 500 pounds but it was 65 which is incredible. So yeah I'm wearing that today. This is a, there's a blind down there, that's what that box is. So today we are going to have lunch in... Just drop that everywhere. Oh well, <laughs> it's only on like, at least it's not on anything important, because this floor is just an end of the day, so. We're going to Staple in Westgate to have lunch with our friends, which will be nice. And then I think we might do a hit cast this evening. It's Wednesday today, so it's our, it's my and George's day off, so he's with me. I was gonna vlog on Sunday, but then I didn't. I just had so much work to do that I ended up being really busy and I couldn't really juggle both things. So I'm vlogging today. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna bring you along with, with me today. Hopefully it'll be a nice day. And 
yeah, we're just, we'll make it work around the weather because it's been so weird. But yeah, I feel like cowboy boots, I just did a little video about this actually, but I feel like cowboy boots are really good for spring if it's rainy or summer if it's rainy because they're kind of like the kind of thing that you'd wear to a festival then I feel like they're a good styling option because even though they're a boot, they still feel quite summery to me. They, they're good for all year round, basically, which is why I really like them. I kind of really, I really want to find a brown pair because I think brown would be really nice, especially with... Why am I trying to hold my drink as well? Um, especially with, like, I love basket bags. I just love that kind of whimsical, ethereal kind of look. And in the summer, I'm just basket bag all the way. I've got one that I got from ASOS, but actually it's from Amazon. It was £34. I'll link it below. And what I really like about it is it has a lid because obviously flats, it, they can be quite open, but yeah, you kind of like slide it off. It's got this bit here. here. Someone asked me if this was leather, which I don't think it is. I doubt it. Um, it was so cheap but yeah so the lid like swings off like this for you to open it and it's lined inside so I just feel like that feels nice and secure because for someone to like you know try and get into that without you noticing I mean if they did then congratulations because that's quite tough so <laughs> they deserve it no I'm kidding but yeah it feels quite secure and I just I love the little shape of it. So I've not actually used it properly yet. So I'm going to use that today. I'm really excited. But it's a good size because it fits like my phone and stuff in it. So I've got a few like really cute bags and they just barely fit anything inside them. So it's nice to have something practical and summery. So yeah, I just, I'm so chuffed with this. I love it. I'm just doing my makeup ready for the day. I've got lots of editing to get on with today. It's nice and sunny, which is good. If I don't have a little mirror, I'm gonna to have to try and do this in the camera. And I'm gonna start off with making a TikTok video, which is what I'm doing most days now. Um, doing some kind of outfit video, but I'm trying to do things that like, trying to base it around something that's sort of a bit of a styling tip or something like that for on TikTok so that's what I'm going to do now and then I've got loads of editing to finish off like from the bathroom and the bedroom and I really want to get outside and take Sunday for a nice long walk I'd love to walk around the lake today because the weather is so good. So I'd love to do that, but we'll see. And I also want to make, bought some focaccia yesterday and I really want to make this sandwich with that, with some roasted carrots and stuff for lunch, but I'm actually quite full now. So I don't know when that will be because George made breakfast today and he just did that, the biggest portion. <laughs> so I feel a bit stuffed. But yeah, I saw, I've been looking at TikTok gaps and there was one about gingham dresses. So I've got a gingham dress, so I'm going to put that on today and do a video about that. I dyed my hair last night. Um, well, George helped me actually, but it actually, <laughs> the colour that it looks now in the camera is I think the colour that I wanted. So I'm probably going to do that next time. I think um, I'll just look, brighten this up so you can see. But excuse like my the glow on my face. It looks way more red here actually than it does in real life. It's more golden. But I'm just gonna turn that down because there's just no point. Anyway, um yeah, I dyed it. So I didn't dye my hair apart from I was only dyeing like this section for I think I did that for about 
two years, three years maybe. And I grew out probably three years actually um, because I wanted my hair to grow. So I was just like, I'm just not going to colour it. And I um, just dealt with having like all the greys through the lengths and ends of my hair. Um, and they didn't get that bad until like a couple of months ago, <laughs> maybe from the stress. Um, then I was like, yeah. And I also like this part section of my hair, because this is the bit that I was dying, it, like your hair gets more, your hair gets more porous. I think we can see the color. Your hair gets more porous. And that means that it lifts easier in the sun. So this top section of my hair was like really brassy and light compared to this bottom section of my hair. And it was also snapping off here. Um, I think for a couple of reasons, like sleeping on it. And I also do this as a bad habit when I'm talking to people, which I'm stopping now. And you know, that's where you pull your bobble out and stuff. That's where your bobble sits. So it snapped off. So it was like bright. <laughs> it was like brassy snapped off. And then the rest of my hair was like dark with gray highlights. <laughs> And it got to a point where I looked and I saw it in a mirror and I was like, I know I needed to do it. And then I was like, I'm going to do it eventually. And then um, I looked at, I saw a video and I was like, right, I need to sort my hair out immediately. It looks so bad. And yeah, I'm really pleased with it. Like it just feels healthier now and it's nice for it to be like more one colour. But yeah, it looks more, it's more golden actually in real life than it is here. It looks chestnutty. But I kind of wanted, because I hadn't dyed my hair for like three years, my whole head, I kind of wanted like, a bit more of a dramatic impact and then it was kind of like oh it doesn't look that different which is a good thing and a bad thing um so yeah I kind of did it and I was like oh it's a bit of a after three years you know it felt like a bit of a it was a bit of an anti-climax but it looks nice and healthy and it feels really shiny it feels soft it looks shiny so that's a hair update but yeah if you want to grow your hair then that is what I would just suggest is just like stop dyeing it if you can or dye it as well as possible or just dye the bits that people are going to see and just make do and then just keep growing it and you'll get there my I can't do that in that mirror my my practical hair tutor said that said that my hair would never grow past here. She was like, your hair's like mine, it's never gonna grow past your shoulders. And then I was like, what? Um, so yeah, proved her wrong. <laughs> when I was in London, I actually found that my back, I have a bit of like lower back pain. It kind of started in lockdown. And when I was in London and I was walking a lot more, I noticed that it was a lot less painful. So I, wanted to invest in a standing desk but then I realized that I can actually just use this shelf so this is where I'm working from like not all day but like it depends how much I'm doing but yeah for like a couple of hours at least I try and work standing up because otherwise I would spend a lot of time sitting down I would really love one of those treadmills like the walking the little walking things but I've heard that some of them aren't that great so don't want to get one and it, it'd be rubbish. So yeah, I'm just going to do my editing here for the morning. Um, oh, and I will, I can show you my outfit as well. I've got this blue gingham dress on that I put on every year from Sister Jane. I have this in pink and it's a beautiful dress, but I'm not sure if the colour like sings, like suits me as much. So, and I always just reach for this one. So I decided to sell it. So that's on my vintage at the moment, actually. And yeah, I've got my mint water. Got my mint water. And I'm gonna just, I can't wait to have my office back set up because then I can have my desktop computer because um, I actually got a laptop because I got a a job a couple of years ago that I needed a laptop for but I just way prefer using the desktop especially for editing because you need like the big screen it's just so much more useful but at the moment that's not set up and I miss it because I feel like more of like a CEO <laughs> with the desktop <laughs>
There's some really cute pictures of Sunday. I've just used and abused her for, I'm joking, by the way. I've used and abused her for my photos. I was like, sit, you can sit on the bed. Tricked her into sitting on the bed because that's her favorite place to be. And then she modeled for me. So get a dog because they could be your dog model. Yeah, look at the little baby, the baby girl. She looks like a teddy at the moment, it's so cute. She's obviously having her, her after work nap. Are you having an after work nap? Was it tiring? Was it tiring being a model? It was. Gosh, she's so cute. See how that branch has dangled down? Oh my I, god, yeah. I feel like, or we watched, or watched the two spending a duet. I feel like you're, um, I feel like it's doing that because it's trying to get to the sun. Oh, that's so nice. That is very nice. Poodle. Pooch on. So close to my head. I can show you my hair now on that side, maybe. But yeah, it's kind of a goldeny brown. George thinks it looks no different. Understand what you've done. No, we haven't. What are you getting from the 